We've got a little bit of an update on Pearl. She's had her next upgrade done. But I have to admit, the first thing I have to do before I show you any of that is give her a wash. She's filthy. Now I'm in an ISO. So what else are you gonna do when you're isolated at home? Then clean your car. Now some of you may not know, I've been updating Pearl for the last probably three or four months. As I said, we get prepared for our Esperance trip. Now I've actually never been to Esperance before, and this of course is the very first uh, truck, very first rat drive ever upgraded. But we didn't want to upgrade her so she was a long haul. I just wanted to make her into a little bit of, I suppose, a family toy where we can decide to go somewhere and go there at a moment's notice. So what I had to do was I had to keep everything as simple as possible. And today's video is running through everything we've done to Pearl in preparation for our big adventure. And the very first thing you can probably tell is we've got an eye camper um, put on board. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole eye camper because we have two other videos where we go through our first impressions and also the adjustments we've made uh, to the mattress. So what I'll do is I'll leave in the link in the, the actual description for those. But what I want to give you an update on is what we've done to the tray and what we've also done to the power system. So as I said at the beginning, what I wanted to do was I wanted to set things up so that it was easy for us just to very quickly take off and go wherever we want to go. Uh, and of course, the first thing we've actually installed was um, a fridge freezer, which is very easy to turn on and turn off. It uh, capacity is quite enough for us from the point of view of drinks and food. We've got, of course, naturally extra storage on the uh, backside. We've got extra storage tied down, primarily for the cooking and storing in the section. We've also got at the back there a water um, entry because what I wanted to do is I wanted to add some water. So in other words, we would have some fresh water for either you know cleaning, washing, anything like that. Turn the pump on, turn it on, and out she comes. So there's a pump at the very, very back, just pumping the water from um, the back section. So it's really easy. Turn her off, close her back. So I've got water. Water for cooking, water for drinking, I suppose, if it gets really bad. All right, so what you end up doing is you undo the yellow clips and the whole tray can come out. And obviously you can tell behind there, you've got uh, the uh, water tank which obviously as I said before you can fill up in the corner the power as well as we have an extra table we had a little bit of dead space and the guys and girls at Pierce actually put that in for us which is great so we have an extra table and as you can tell we've got some extra storage at the back this is where I keep uh, some of the jacks and so on but as you can tell it's every possible part of the space has been used up to either give us storage refrigeration or of course water and I have to admit they've done a good job I forgot to say as well, we've got a small little light in the corner here, you know, just to add some extra light. If she works for me, extra light just in the back here at night time, just to make it easier to see in the back, which makes it easier. And I just want to make sure that light's going off when she closes. I think it's an automatic feature, which turns the light on when opens, closes. And then the question is, is that light going to go off? Yes, it does. All right, I <laughs> learned something today. Now inside the cab, of course, once I can move uh, Sammy's uh, chair, we've also installed a compressor. Nice and simple for on off. Make it nice and simple for the compressor, which is underneath the seat, to make it easy for us to be able to blow up the tires, which makes it a lot easier. Underneath here is the power system. I've, I ran out the GPO just here, so we can actually obviously charge anything we need to. Um, including Sammy's iPad, but I'll very quickly just show you what's behind uh, Sammy's chair. All right, so behind here, obviously got the battery, the converter, as well as the system, which has been installed by the uh, Klarman guys. Uh, who are a local place that I organized. They were very good, very helpful. Of course, obviously on the roof, I don't know whether you can see it through the section there, but obviously that's where the control hub is, which allows us um, some more and more extra lights because we have actually installed two lights either side as well as some lights at the front, which I'll show you in a sec, but we do have capacity to be able to run this also for solar power to make it easy. I'll show you the app in two seconds because the app that comes with this system is pretty awesome. 
Now the power system in the Raptor is also connected to an app. It's connected to the Victor Connect app and it's connected by, um, via Bluetooth. And it actually, when it connects, of course, comes up with all the information you need to know about your system, which includes how much power is in the battery. I'm currently at 100%. What's the drawdown? Um, what parts are connected? As well as, more importantly, the time remaining of your charge. In other words, based on the current draw, how long can you run what you're currently running until the battery runs dry? So when I went to the installers, I said to them, I wanted to have a system System that's easy you can just throw stuff in the car and go and the power system had to be able to charge things like my laptop my drones um, as well as my phones as well as my iPad for Sammy because when we're out and about we obviously want to create content but I need to be able to keep little Sammy entertained and be able to charge things on the go and this system is far more than I had actually anticipated but I do need to actually get the power system plugged into the tent uh, because I need to get I've got the plug on the roof of the back section but I want to be able to run the power directly into the tent and then have uh, GPO or lights in there that I can very easily charge things without having to come into the cab. Now the other thing down the bottom here is we've also installed some other parts uh, for the power system. We of course have our high beam lights which is the bottom right hand corner which puts on our new beam lights which I'll show you in a second when we get out to the, um, the bump above. We've also got uh, two lights on the outside, both left and right lights and I've also got the inverter that I naturally obviously have to turn on to change the power for the 12 volt battery into a uh, standard 240 volts so I can charge um, everything from, as I said, iPads and so on. As you can tell, the system is really easy to use and it looks like the system is going to be able to give me exactly what I was looking for for the short, sharp trips we've got in creating content. But now, of course, it's time for me to show you the front of the car. And the last part, of course, of the system that we installed uh, was the bull bar. Obviously, by the off-road animal, we added, cat naturally, some extra floodlights floodlights underneath as well as some protection obviously underneath uh, tow points and protection for the radiator and you may notice as well we have also updated the shockies because we have added quite a little bit of weight to the Raptor and we didn't want uh, the shockies to give out which obviously the stock standard ones I was told really didn't take weight very well but they've been really really good actually obviously the standard snorkel and upgrade and these of course the new items I've got for the eye camper which of course is the annex as well as the uh, mini awning which of course I'll be able to unpack when I can finally get out of uh, isolation of course. So as you can tell uh, Pearl is around about 80% done. I do want to make a few changes, I do want to add something to the power system. I want to run uh, the power directly into the eye camper. Underneath there's a way that they can do that because when we're sleeping I want to be able to charge our technology. Sammy can watch his iPad without having to you know, run down to the cab or run another cable through. I want to be able to run it directly into the um, eye camper. And if you are interested in our other videos um, about the eye camper I'll leave the link just directly above me here about our first impressions as well as how we charge change the mattress to make it a lot more comfier as well as I leave the bedding in there now because of the change. And now we are planning of course obviously a couple of adventures because here at Adventure of Soul we're all about those first time adventures. You know seeing places for the first time, doing things for the first time and stepping outside your comfort zone. So while we're doing the Exmouth trip for example, what Pearl is taking us on, what all this has been about. Um, Exmouth is about 12 hours north of Perth uh, and it's where we're going to be hopefully swimming with the uh, whale sharks. We could of course naturally fly there, it's about two and a half hours. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive up Firstly, it's, um, it's going to take us about three days because I'm going to be taking the slow road. I'll be taking one of my kids, probably Caleb, and we're going to be stopping off at uh, three different um, unique locations along the way. And what we're going to be doing then, as I said, stop off at Exmouth, swim with the whale sharks, hopefully. And then the rest are going to be getting on the plane to fly home. And then one of my other children, which is probably going to be Brianna, is going to be driving back with me. And once again, we're going to be stopping at three more unique, unique locations on the way home to put Pearl totally to a test as well as to do something we've never done before. We've also got some other items. We, um, we've just bought our first uh, boat, a Boston Whaler 255. I've never owned a boat before. I've never really driven a boat before until just recently. And we're learning everything along the way because I love the ocean. We love snorkeling. I'm hopefully gonna be able to get our scuba diving license. Brianna has, Caleb and I haven't. And we just love doing things in the outdoors, especially if we haven't done them before. The other thing as well is, unfortunately, we're currently in lockdown because poor Jane, my wife, has actually come down with COVID. We are literally seven days away from flying out to the US, and I don't know if we're going to be able to get there. But hopefully we can get over COVID, meet all the guidelines and fly out, because we have a lot of plans 
we're going to New York, we're going to Orlando, we've got a convention to get to, we're going to Disney, you know, Epcot, all those different parks. And Sammy certainly, he's six, remembers the videos, but he really doesn't remember the parks. And it's gonna be like a very first time for him again. And I'm really looking forward to spending that time with him and obviously sharing them here. Now, if you do have any questions whatsoever, please do leave them in the comment section. As I said, I'm not an expert in this stuff, but I do know the experts and I can pass on your question and at least try and work out the answer for you. Now, if you haven't subscribed and you love first time adventures, you love the outback, you love the ocean, um, you love travel, please do think about subscribing. It really does help out our channel, as well as a little bell to get notifications of all our videos. Because as you can tell, We've got a lot coming this year. But as always, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next adventure. And there's less mosquitoes. Oh, ow!